Hey, how's it going? This is a replication of Laser Saber's Super Jewel Ringer 3.0. Works pretty good. The secondary on this one, I used the bucking coil or amplifying coil. Where if you were to rotate the core, the two wires would advance away from each other. I read in an article a while back where Tesla had mentioned that with a single wire coil, only half of the coil of the wires are in the right direction. That's why I did it that way. But what this video is about is the neutral line in coils. If we were to energize this with a constant direct current, you would be able to find the north and south poles, and you would have a neutral line in the middle. That's not just one neutral line. There's two there. There's an inside and there's an outside. If we were to open this solenoid coil up, like the conical coil, you would get a shift of the inside and the outside moving towards the ends. Which I'm going to set these other coils up and we're going to look at those with a pole finder. Using this magnetic pole finder. see the neutral line is on the end. It also means one pole is on the inside and one pole is on the outside. Watch what happens with this magnet. doesn't just center itself, it goes all the way through. This pancake coil, you have one pole on one side and one pole on the other. And your neutral line is in the thickness of the wire. You might recognize this magnet from Edley Scallon's Coral Castle. This is a steel rod bent off center and I have the bucking coil or amplifying coil on here where the one end of the coil is connected to the beginning of the other. You could do a center tap on it if you wanted to. This is how you move the block wall out of your way. There's no neutral line there. It's over here on the long part. So you have all one pole on this section. 